This is, um, I guess, the fourth part of the same lesson. It's an optional one. Okay? You don't have to watch it. I'm just trying to explain, at least for sign, why do we have two solutions? Why can we use, why if one solution is x, the other one solution, the other angle will be 180 minus x. We will learn it properly next year, but I know some of you, I'm hoping that some of you want to know why. Why, why is that true? Why do we get these two solutions? I'm not just drawing a graph. So I'm, I'm just going to do it, but I said it's an option. So I'm trying to explain the, the question, to explain the answer, why sine 20 will be equal to sine 160. I mean, why did I come up with 160? Because 160 is 180 minus 20. Why can I use that rule? Why? So to do that, i got to go to that basic circle we drew a while back. Okay? And um, remember, we've got a radius. A radius is your no, it's a radius, okay? And I've got these x and y's, okay? X and y, okay? Where this little coordinate x and y, okay, the sine 20 is going to be x divided by r. It's the opposite divided by r, okay? Now let's draw, so, so yeah, sine 20 is x. Oh, it's not, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be the x, sorry. It should be the y, okay? It's the y. It's so the y coordinate divided by, by the hypotenuse. Okay, that's sine 20. Now let's draw maybe with a different color, sine 160. Okay, so 160, this angle. Okay, and now let's just think about it. If this is 160, what should that be? Yes, of course, that's also 20. That's also 20, isn't it? It's that off here. Okay. So if these two angles are the same, okay? If these two angles are the same, with a little of you clearly, you can convince yourself this is always off. This doesn't change. The radius is the radius. But this coordinate is the same, has the same y coordinate. In other words, the y here, these triangles are actually identical. Okay? Congruent, we call them last year, okay? So the y coordinate is the same. The x is not, well, it's the same, but it's just negative. We're not going to get into that. But this distance is the same as this distance. If this is 20, this is 20, the radius is the same, okay? This is going to be equal to that. And you can prove that they're congruent. We're not going to do it now. So what is sine 160? Sine 160 is also going to be y over r. This y over r, but y, these two y's are the same. So I've written the same thing. Sine 20 is equal to sine 160. So they're both equal to y over r. Okay? So hopefully I managed to convince you why we can use this relationship for sine. We can do the same for cosine tan, but this is not the place. We'll do that next uh, year. Okay? Hope that helped a bit.